Um, a great football game, one that uh, I knew was going to be a really good game. Um, uh, I, I know that uh, they had the bye week and played Houston really well, and they kind of figured some things out. And as I as I told people all week, same football team that was up 27-16 on us last year in the second half, minus their best player and their quarterback, and he's the you know, the, uh, the straw that stirs the drink. And uh, he's a terrific player, a terrific competitor. Um, I, I, I Honestly, I, I hated to have somebody lose that football game. And uh, I know how much it would have meant to KU, and I know how much it would have meant to, to Lance. And, and it's no secret, Lance and I are friends. Um, but uh, uh, hats off to our players of finding a way uh, in the fourth quarter, uh, of making a play. You know, Romaine stripping it, Mott falling on it us finding a way to get a couple of first downs because they were coming after our tail. And I want to tell you, the last month of watching Chris Tennant, I knew that was going in. I had no doubt in my mind. There was nobody on our sideline that had any doubt because for one month, that kid has just not done nothing at practice but drill the football. And it was exciting for him to be able to do that, um, being a senior from Kansas. And then I was proud of the defense and, and really hats off to Coach Klanderman because um, he heated him up. Right after that, on that last series, we were not going to sit there and, and, and just let it let him take it because of their great wide receivers and the quarterback. We had to get him off his spot, and we were able to do that. So, really good win. What exactly did you change to get that pressure? Um, just brought it all and said, we're going to play man, um, and um, we're going to bring it and uh, get, him, get him at least hurried up. And... The first couple times we did it, we were bringing it off the weak side because that's where they had the protection issues. Um, had one uh, normal cover two that they got four or five yards and then heated them up again. And um, uh, I, I didn't see how close they were when he scrambled out. I, I was afraid because our, our boundary pressure and he escaped to the field. And so I don't know how close it was. I just know that I think VJ maybe caught him from behind. Um, and both teams were gassed, and so big play by VJ. And what is going on with you? Are you okay? I think I am, buddy. I don't. I just. I don't know. Um, I've had some issues in the past, and just was really, really dizzy today. And uh, thank a ton to Matt Thomason and Scott Troush for uh, helping me out and taking care of me. And and uh, my wife's going to just kick my butt when I get home. I know it. Um, so I may stay up here for a while tonight. Yeah, no, without it, without a doubt. Um, and um, you know, we missed opportunities. I think they missed opportunities. Uh, it was a it was a game of of who could make a, a another play. You know, the safety was such a critical moment for us to get that two points because that was really the difference in the game. Um, and uh, I was proud of Avery uh, being able to run the ball some, um, and uh, it was you know both teams had very good offensive outputs. Both teams made some mistakes, um, and and both teams the quarterback made a mistake, but the quarterback's one of the one making all the plays. So you knew that sometimes you're going to make a mistake. You get great players like those two kids are, and Avery and, and Daniels. They're going to make a ton of plays, and they're going to make a mistake. Um, but uh, that's why it's a team game. And, and I was proud of, at the end, offense, defense, and special teams came through. Chris, what do you think this has been since you've been here for the kicker? Um, confidence and uh, having Simon kick off. I think that has uh, alleviated some some stress on his leg. And um, uh, I, I just he's very comfortable uh, in, in kicking the ball. And uh, it's... If when you get into a rhythm like he's into, and all of a sudden it, you just see that thing split in the uprights, and it's confidence. It's fun to see. Um, maybe catching him in a couple blitzes. You know, uh, we the big difference from last week to this week is they blitzed us out of some run game, but we did hit a couple of big ones. Uh, I know Dylan had one, and I know. Um, DJ had one, and then uh, Avery popped one. Um, that you know, we've got to find ways to crease some people when they are blitzing us, because that's kind of the mo right now. Uh, in the same respect, I, I like the way we're throwing the football, um, but you know, we were able to finally get a couple of a couple of seams, and we've got some kids that can hit them. Dylan and DJ can really hit it when they go. Yeah, did you envision Dylan Edwards having that kind of game 
Absolutely. And uh, we needed him to have that kind of game. And uh, it's fun because you get him out in the perimeter and it's it's tough line uh, matchup for a linebacker. And then he split the one and, and he, he gets it going, man. He can roll. Yeah, you know, but your 72 plays for almost 500 yards, we did some really good things. And I know that Rouse is probably really excited about some of the things we did and maybe disappointed in some of the things we did. But I could say that about every position we had. How about two really good football teams play each other? And both teams got a lot of scholarship players, and they're all and, and those scholarship players played well. The walk-ons played well. This is a dang good football game between two really good teams. Um, yeah, I thought Siegel made a critical uh, play at the end of the first half to keep him out of the end zone, and then yeah, the, the strip and and um, you know just those guys staying in the fight. I think all positions, both sides of the ball, we stayed in the fight for four quarters. Let's go two more guys. Uh, they're in a situation where you had the sack there on the second to last drive, and you had second and twenty. Were you playing in four down territory? We we were, and I didn't see what happened. I know that the kid beat. DJ on the edge and whether or not we could have stepped up outside. Maybe he didn't get a good chip on him. I don't – it happened so fast. But, uh, um, yeah, that was disappointing. That's why we ran the ball to try to get it to a fourth and, and manageable. And, and, shoot, we had a chance on fourth down. We almost made the play. Um, but, okay, it didn't happen. Now let's get back out and make a stop. And I was going to use my timeouts quickly to try to give us as much time as we could. Phenomenal. Um, I knew it was going to be one of the best environments in my six years here. And I told the kids that on Monday. Uh, I told them to be where their feet are. I told them to enjoy this because this is what these kids built. These kids built over the last six years, these five and six year guys, that's what they built is an environment like this. How many sellouts in a row? 18, I think. Um, it's a credit to our football team and our players um, that uh, the fans show up and, and cheer for those guys. And, and we got a bunch of really good kids as well that uh, are fun to cheer for. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, everyone.